I'm Adam Moss, and this is Moss Models. Welcome to Moss Models. Today we're going to revisit one of my older tech tips uh, because the experience has definitely changed in Ethos 1.5. And this one is per side rates. Now, per side rates are an absolutely key requirement when setting up a precision aerobatics model so that your aircraft will roll or pitch or yaw in exactly the same manner for the exact same stick deflection in each direction. So let us get into this because this has changed. The good news is no logical switches needed anymore. No channel mappings needed anymore. We will use a source in one of these methods, but that source is going to be not a uh, channel mapping, but a direct call to a VAR. So let's get into it. I'm going to show two examples. The first one is going to be on elevator. The same method will work on elevator or rudder. But uh, I want to demonstrate the second method on elevator, or sorry, on aileron, because that's the most complex implementation for the second method. So let's start off. We're going to create a new airplane. It's airplane type, non-stabilized receiver, one channel, two ailerons, no flaps. And we're going to go here, and I'm just, I'm not going to bother naming it. So, the first thing we need to do is go set up two VARs. And we're going to put our, our elevator rates on switch C, just so that we can put our aileron rates on switch B. So, VARs in 1.5 are no longer mixer type, they're their own thing. That has varying implications. In this particular case, it, it, we are going to set that up and we're going up, ELE, whoops, helps if I can spell up. I'm still getting used to the impact on of my bifocals on these videos because I have to look with my normal ones, not my, I'm used, normally with my bifocals, I'm looking through the, the reading one, but when I film these videos, I'm looking through the distance one. So we're going to set our first rate at 100%. That's our high rates. And I always set the default, the one that's going to be if nothing is there, at the most flyable setting. In this case, we'll go for 100%. Let's assume that we're flying a F3A or a classic or ballistic pattern model and not, for example, a 3D aircraft where your most flyable rates are usually not full rates, but something much tamer so you can fly the airplane back. And we'll put this on switch C and set that to 80%. And you'll notice it starts from the default position, not from zero. And we'll set this to switch C down. That's our low rates. And again, it starts from the default, not the previous. And we'll set that to 60. Now, as with any VAR, you can actually set up in-flight adjusters for this. Pardon me, I'm just going to take my module off so the radio sits a little bit better. Uh, but we're not going to get into that. That's from the in-flight adjusting of VARs is something for another day. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clone this. That just creates another one of the same stuff. And we'll call it down. And let's say we're going to want 78%. And actually, we'll, let's go for a bigger one so that we can, easy, we can see it easier. This wouldn't be really realistic. But it get, allows me to demonstrate a little better. better. So we're going to leave the, hundred, the full rates on 100%, but we're going to drop the uh, other two rates to 75 and 55%. Gee, you know what? We'll set that down to 95% just for consistency. 
Okay, now we've got our VARs set up. We're going to go over to the mixer and we're going to set up the mixers. And what we're going to do, first thing is, is we're going to long press we're going to long press the weights. We're going to use a source. And now we're going to go to VARs and up elevator. And up elevator, notice I'm I'm pulling on my pulling up elevator and it goes down. So this is left. This will come into effect and this is right. So we have four new differentiators that are states based on the stick input. Uh, there's left and right, which are the left and right side of the curve, the four quadrant curve graph. And there's up and down, which are the top and the bottom. The reality is for elevators, bottom and left are pretty much the same. Up and right are pretty much the same, unless you do something with negative curves rather than just inverting the output channel to get change your direction. Same thing goes for rudder. But for aileron or V-tail, up top and bottom become differential because you've got two things happening there, and left and right become your just well they don't change. That's your one is one stick position, the other one's another stick position. So it does matter. So we're going to add a new weight here. And the system event is direction, and we are going to call that right, because that's our down elevator's right, and our up elevator is there. And it learns the currently active uh, rate, but we actually want to go that. And again, we want to go over to a var, and we want the down elevator var. So now you can see if you go, we go down. We're going to go down here, and we're in low rates right now. You can see this. That's low rates, that's mid, that's high. We go down. Our minimum is 60. And up, or sorry, up elevator, our negative is 60. And in the other direction, it's 55. And again, let's go to mid rates. Down elevator 75. Up elevator is 80. 100%, 95, and 80. There we have it, all done. But there is a way to do this without VARs, but it requires, first off, we're gonna go into the ailerons and edit, because I just wanna check one thing. So left, and this, this will come into play later. Left aileron is minus 100 on channel 1 and plus 100 on channel 5, and vice versa. That'll come into that because you know what we're going to go do? We're going to go blow this up because we're going to use a free mix. You might wonder why, and we're going to put it in the first position, and we're going to call it And the source is analogs, sorry, analogs, boom, aileron. Action is always on. Now, we're going to go set the outputs to two, not three, it's two. Output one is channel one, yes. And output two is channel five again. We're renaming it, and you notice now uh, I'm giving left, and output 2 is wrong, so we're going to reverse that. And now we have the aileron action we wanted back. But we're missing two things. First off is our per side rates, and second off is our trim, and we're going to get both back. First thing we're going to do is we're, we are going to add a new action, and it is weight. We're going to add a new weight, and we're going to use 
we're actually going to use switch the switch position here. And this will be right, so I believe we set that to 75. I'm not going to try and be consistent and switch down and set that to 55. And the active condition for this becomes direction right. Now we're going to clone that. And change that to left. Change this to 80, 60, and we'll go back to the first one because just for consistency, we'll make that 95. You notice I got that always on weight. We're going to change that. This is going to become a, sorry, not a differential, an offset line. And we're going to long press, offset one line active, and it's always on. We're going to use a source. That source is going to be trims, trim aileron. So what that first one did was that creates our aileron trim. Then we've got our rates. So in this case, aileron trim is applied before the rates. So it is going to be, when you reduce it, it's gonna be afterwards. Or it's gonna, it's gonna be processed with actions in a free mix, it's top to bottom. So in this case, our aileron trim, we have our rates and you can see them go active in each side and you can see here, right here, what your weights are. If you look, it goes bright and then bold. It's sometimes hard to see the bold in this one, but it's bright and then bold. And let's scroll down here. You can see. And then we go right. It's 55, 75, 95 on both channels. 55, 75, 95. And I'm hitting the aileron. And you'll note it, that's my aileron trim there I'm hitting. And you can see it's trimming. So there we go. That is per side rates, entirely done within one mix, in a free mix, with your aileron trim fully functional.